we're going to show you a two ball vice technique to work the subscap muscle. Now this muscle is notoriously difficult to access because it is found on the inside of the scapula. The only way you can get to it is through the armpit. So when you're trying to work this, we need to elevate the back of the scapula to allow access. And to do that, we're going to use two balls. Now, the subscap muscle is incredibly important because it is one of the prime internal rotators of the shoulder, which means when it's restricted, it will rotate the shoulder into this position. Now, this becomes a problem on all pressing or overhead ranges of motion because I cannot get pro proper lat engagement or stability when I'm too internally rotated. It creates a lot of shear force through the shoulder and create uh, havoc both in the rotator cuff as well as power reduction and restrictions in range of motion. So it's really important muscle to work, however, it is difficult. So this technique is to serve two purposes. One, we're gonna get the back of the shoulder blade here. We're gonna get through some of the external rotator muscles. At the same time, it's gonna allow us access to the subscap muscle. So what do you do it is you're gonna lie down on your side roughly at a 30 to 45 degree angle. Now I'm gonna position this ball in pretty much the middle of the shoulder blade, but I'm gonna look around for a tender, restricted spot. Okay, so this might be a teres minor, might be a teres major. And when I find that spot, I'm just gonna train my arm up and like this. So you can see this is elevating the, uh, the shoulder here. That's gonna allow me to press with the opposite ball into the armpit. Now for this, I'm aiming at a 45 degree angle through the armpit, think of going directly back towards the back of the scapula. All right, so I'm gonna press straight in until I find that trigger point. When I've got it, I'm now gonna go through overhead reach range of motion. I'm gonna do three to five reps. And then I'm also gonna do an internal, external rotation, three to five reps. Now I might be able to find two spots. I can change the position of the ball, find another trigger point, position maybe a little lower. All right, change the angle slightly. Yet again, I'm gonna push directly back, aiming back towards the back of the scapula, press in with the ball, get that vice technique, and then I'm gonna work overhead range of motion, three to five reps, internal, external range of motion, three to five reps. That is a really good technique for getting both those external rotators and subscat muscle, and it can really help to improve external and internal range of motion as well as overhead range of motion. So check that out.